Hello everyone, here I am with my first LEGO Sonic the Hedgehog review, and this one's on Tails Workshop and Tornado Plane that is just about being released. And you, if you wonder, I did get this and a couple other sets early at Target, or I mean at Kohl's, which check your Kohl's to get them early, but if not, they'll be out soon at all the shops, but yeah. So on the front of the box here, we have the Lego Star Wars or Sonic the Hedgehog logos and a little border made of blue 2x4 bricks and a little pic of Sonic himself there. And see picture of the whole set in action. And recommended ages is 6 and up. Set number is 76991. Has 376 pieces. And of course, nice trend on these, these boxes is a little profile pic of the actual folder. Well, in game pics of Sonic and the characters, and yeah, and all the me things that some of the me things that are included, but yeah. On the back side, do have some other pics of the set and other arrangements of all, and the logos again, and yeah. And now, on to the instruction manuals, which you get two of for this set. Do it. Kind of interesting for a smallish set, but yeah. The like first one of which does have advertisement for a transition to paper bags and also add for the builder app. Now let's see. And then on the back is just add for rebuild the world. And on the other one of which, which on the back side is how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set and it's actually three pages different ad for rebuild the world and then advertisement of all the other sets of the wave and also combined sets to expand your plate of course and then last building steps for it of course First off is for the mini figs, which you get just two of in this set. This first up is Sonic the Hedgehog himself. Well, it would be Lake Prince of which quite the same as we had in the Ideas line, and whereas the torso print front and back, same as in the Lego Dimensions pack from 2016, of course. And as he does have the uh, tan arms with white hands representing his skin and gloves and headpiece also the same as the 2016 dimensions pack of course but what's different is has a wink expression to it of course but also the and who's all new to this theme and also comes in a couple other sets is a uh, miles per hour slash tails of course who which well, a lot of us have kind of expected for a long time but also finally you know, but and the front torso printing, same kind of problem as Sonic does, but where it's not fully tan or white, of course. And also the, and also some good uh, dual mold and short legs. It's with toe printing, of course, and also head pieces, which uh, sculpted very well, and also really good for that. And last of which is one of the uh, held hostage creatures, uh, Flicky, included here. I, and not sure if it, this is from a friend's theme set or whatever or it's probably new i'm sure it's new an all new piece for that but however and of course does have a little uh, accessory hole at the top of him for that. and on the back side of both of them have an all new specialized tail piece for tails of course which done quite well but yeah and that's about it with the mini things here and also do get a buzz bomb, the buzz bomber, of course, which looking kind of close to like it doesn't like he does in the games, like all brick built, like even though as for if you're familiar with the Super Mario line, that most all the characters are brick built, but whereas this theme of which does have traditional minifigs, which major plus for that, but and of course this which 
just being a mix of that. But yeah. But however, as front tail part, which does have one of those clear dome pieces where you can like put the flicky into and look like it's being dropped in there, of course. But however, the rest of which, which is just standing on a clear plate, on a clear rod, of course. Has, and also has a few various bricks and also side bricks with cone pieces on the sides and also do have posable wings on there of course and of course headpiece with those like a little glow pieces in trans orange nice to see here or probably two obviously represent the blasting coming from that like in the early games of course and also those uh, corner plates represented as large teeth of course but yeah And that's about it with Buzz Bomber. And as for little accessories with this set is get about uh, three of these little ring pieces that are on clear dishes and uh, hinge rods. And, and also these new style ring pieces, which I'm sure we did get recently in the Harry Potter line in the small Quidditch set, of course, but however are in yellow for that. So, But however, they work out right for this thing. Or, uh, but yeah. Also do get this little lawn chair. Or relaxing lawn chair for that. With a couple studs on there to uh, let a mini fig uh, rest on there. And uh, which just kind of, so the build of which is just fine, of course. And also do get this simple little cart kind of build <coughs> which consisting of mainly blue and yellow a little bit to that and a couple clips of which holding one holding a wrench to it and of course a pair of jumpers on top of course and of course you can open one drawer and it has this little tile piece it's with some sort of with some interesting electronic prints on it and bottom drawer of which has a couple of swirl or flat studs with swirl prints on them as well. But yeah. And so that's about it with that. And now on to the workshop. As you can see, it's, see, it's kind of like some place that we oftentimes expect. Kind of a facade of it. But of course, with some interesting builds to it. See, like these curved slopes represented as like an archway into there. But as for these wall bits, which may have just one by one bricks representing the like a 16 bit kind of effect to it. And of course, a couple of plates with flowers on them, sort of like the original games. And an interesting technique archway build with these uh, slopes and also these uh, edged kind of large slopes and above of which does has this sign that made it those other slopes and also a, a round tile uh, with a pair of tails is with tails as tails on there since of course to represent it's owned by tails of course and which you'll see a couple other times in this set of which the other side of which is same stuff but opposite but so from this uh, view of which nice symmetrical but if you look on the back side of which a little bit more going on to it. so as although the build of which a little thing to note is that some of these designs which may not seem very traditional to that but however, you gotta remember that this is based upon a game, or a video game, of course. So almost like how the 2016 Angry Birds line kind of did, and most recently the uh, Super Mario line has kind of has. But yeah. But onto the ex interior, bit, like, you get, like this one little section here, which comprises mostly a little plant bed, a 
a pink jumper piece and also a cylinder with something on top most likely representing as a dispenser or something and above of which paraclips holding well, the hammer and a crowbar on there the other side of which does have sort of a little larger cheese slope for that and also this little uh, uh, scanner bit with a couple of with this little plate print to it and also doing a, a large jagged slope or 2x4 jagged slope with a whole print on it and also neat thing with these sets of which is well so far is not at all any stickers with this with any of these of which great for that but anyways also to get one of these those newer style of robot arm pieces it's nice to see there and also got a traditional gem piece but used as a chaos emerald like in the ideas set of course so at least good use nice to see that but yeah so that's about it with the workshop and now on to the tornado itself as you can see quite different than how it was in the 2016 uh, dimensions pack which but obviously a lot larger and some all kinds of nice building techniques for that like for the front part of which like this front part traditional uh, propeller piece but in yellow and of course and also a little technical bit behind it as like the angling for that and also if you might recall that back in 2015 there were the line of the scooby-doo sets and there was a biplane build in that range in that theme but however for this which is kind of similar to that but at least with some different mods to it like of course do get a lot of these jagged slope or curved slopes and newer style curved slopes on both wings to that and also one of those like little rounded plates in both of them and also those other plates or pieces there to hold all together and that's for this what those exposed studs are for is so you can stand sonic or whoever onto the top part of it just like he does in the games And as for this seat area, which comprised mostly a, a clear a panelish piece for a windshield and also a little a joystick lever, of course, and also this a little brown seat, which to, and of course it's enough room to or stand tails onto, well, or at least stand them onto since he has the short legs, of course. And as for the farther back side of which back side kind of thick for that although i think it should have been a little bit thinner like maybe use just uh small curved slopes instead of these ones but at least they still kind of work out for that but although the stripe them it barely doesn't go all the way down but i think that maybe some white plates could have been on there or white grill pieces could have been on there to make it a little bit more finished but whatever and as for the tail part of which this does have a couple of corner plates or the one of those newer corner plate pieces for that and also the uh, tail fin of which also same piece as on the workshop sign but however it's on both sides and of course it's the Comprised mostly this newer style uh, invert slope and curved slope and sheath slope on there. Although the build of which is still quite good for how it is, but yeah. And so now on to the final vert. Overall, well, 
This is which a, a quite good set for how it is. Like, get an exclusive variant of Sonic and also get Tails in a kind of small set. To which, of course, whereas having the Tornado Plane for the first time since LEGO Dimensions and also the Builder, which is quite fair for how it is, but the Workshop, which just quite good for as is, but however, with that aside, this is which also works out as a good parts pack for like for orangey yellow and dark blue and also for with some red of course and although I think maybe one of the other maybe another one of flicky like a uh, critter could have been included but yeah would have been a little bit too much but yeah but although I think I think the tornado plane could have done all right just by itself as a simple twenty dollars set, but whatever. But although, but of course, it and but still quite fine. Whereas forty dollars for this, uh, it's kind of weak for that. But actually, second on second thought, that forty dollars, which kind of fair for how it is, but although thirty five could have been you know, as much worth it, but yeah. Well, if it weren't for the two extra accessories for that. And so, and so now, if you're looking to get this set for your uh, Sonic the Hedgehog collection, then definitely pick this up. And if you're look, you know, looking to get the Tornado Plane and anything else for your Sonic or Lego Sonic uh, display or whatever, also definitely pick this up. And if you're looking to for a decent enough set, to, that includes tails to those of course also definitely pick this up and that's about it with this video please like comment share or subscribe and well that's just my thoughts I'd like to hear yours in the comments down below and again like share and subscribe and thanks for watching